Hi and welcome back to part two of my tutorial. Today we're going to be making the page that fits on top of the envelope flap. And I've already assembled one just to show you how it works. It's got a pocket in the front and then a pocket at the top. And then the back side is just a blank page that you mat. So let's get started. First you're going to take a piece of paper that's five and three eighths by nine and a half and you're going to score it at half an inch and then at four and seven eighths so basically half an inch on either side and then you're going to rotate it and score at um, three and three quarters so that's right here and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a pair of scissors or you can use a um, a craft knife and a mat and then cut it but I like this is easier and faster for me just to cut at an angle right where those two um, score marks meet vertically and horizontally so you'll end up with something that looks like this with um, two little notches cut out and then I like to taper the top corners the top of my um, pocket like that so it's a little tapered on this side here so then you're going to fold this front pocket forward and then the flaps go on the inside so fold the flaps on the inside of the pocket and then you can either use your ATG gun or you know your sticky strip or whatever you like to use for adhesive and stick that down and then fold it forward just like this and then you're going to flip it around and then fold these back here and then add more adhesive onto the back flaps okay. and then you want to take a piece of paper that measures five and three quarters by four and three eighths and that's going to be the back um, so this so it'll create a back pocket and I always like to match the top up to that okay so there you go so then that's the front pocket here and then there's the top pocket there and we'll seal the bottom um, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute so then you take your book that already has the two flaps put together and then you're going to want to apply double sided tape all over the flap around the perimeter Oops. and then in the center then take the flat or take your pocket and make sure that the pockets are facing up I guess or so they're the opening is at the top of it and then just like you attach the envelopes to the hinge you want to attach the cut or the pocket so there's a tiny bit of space from the fold just so it the book will open and close easily I guess if that makes sense um, it'll lay flat when you, when you turn the page it lays flat it doesn't pop up and um, make it bulky so then the the back side you're just gonna mat with regular um, your pattern paper you'll cut it to make a, a border you know so it's a an eighth of an inch around the border and so that's how you add the, or attach the pocket to the envelope flaps now there's two ways that I've um, sealed the top pocket either with wet glue hot glue and just run a line of it down there but that kind of takes up some of the space uh -huh. to fit your pocket or you can you can add a um, a hint or not a hinge but like a a, a folded piece of paper you take a paper piece of paper a couple inches and then you um, cut it to size I forgot to do that, so I'll do that right now. 
And then what you're going to want to do is put some um, wet glue at the bottom here and then some um, wet glue on the sides, not on the top part. And then you just attach it to the bottom here and then that also becomes a pocket. So it just depends on how many pockets you feel like your album needs. You can add this to some of the pages or to all of them or none of them and just do the wet glue on the inside. I tend to like doing just the wet glue. It makes, it makes the pages look a little cleaner, I think, than having another pocket. Um, but it's completely up to you. It's your own preference. So what you want to do is make one of these pocket pages for every single set of envelopes. So for every two envelopes you started out with, I started out with eight, you want to do a pocket page. So I'll do four. And since I've already done two, I will do two more. And uh, when I upload my next video, we'll be at the part where we're going to start covering the pages and getting ready to do the chipboard spine. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.